Um, I'm back. Um, this is actually the fourth time I've tried filming this vlog, and so now I actually see just how difficult it is to get an entire vlog in one shot. It's definitely harder than I thought it would be. But, um, I mean, this vlog today actually does have a point, mostly. <laughs> um, so yesterday, after I finished vlogging, I had to go shopping, you know, get some necessities. And, uh, while I was there, I got kind of bored in the store, so I started carousing around the, uh, the movie section. And I went ahead and I bought The Devil Wears Prada with Anne Hathaway, who, by the way, is one of my, like, favorite actresses ever, so if you have not seen Get Smart yet, you should go see it. Like, now. Today. I mean, you could even stop this, this YouTube video and, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, go see it now. <laughs> anyway, um... In the movie, Hathaway's character is a young woman who's trying to get into the field of journalism, which is actually a difficult industry to get into, but she does manage to get a job at a fashion magazine. And also in the movie, her character wears a size 6, and uh, everyone at the magazine she's working at now thinks size 6 is fat. And I'm like, size 6? That's, that's fat? Um... Okay, you know what, I have a confession to make before we continue this. Um, I don't really know pant sizes for girls. I don't really pay attention. I mean, I know what I wear, but I don't... Yeah, size 6 and 4 or 5 or what? I don't get it. It's all numbers. I don't... I don't see a need in numbers. Anyway, you know what? I just... That's, maybe that makes me a bad female, but I don't understand the pant sizes or how it works. I don't... But anyway, uh, back to the movie. <laughs> in the movie, you know, she's size 6 and... And the other characters thought that was fat, and that really bugged me. I actually ended up having, um, an extensive conversation with two of my best friends, because, I, I don't know, it just, it, it got to me, kind of, the fact that, um, they all made judgments on who the character was by her size, and, um, I don't know, that, that irritated me. But, uh, I think in the movie they did make a good point in the fact that, um, we can show who we are, by what we wear, by how we present ourselves. We can display our own personalities through what we wear. But alongside that, I don't think your size, your number, is any indication of who you are. That's just how I feel. I think um, if you're comfortable with yourself, if you're comfortable with your body, if you're comfortable with how you show yourself, then other people can see that. And through your the confidence that you're exuding, uh, it helps and shows and makes you more attractive. More people will notice. And so, for me, I don't think a person can really be... I don't, I don't think you can be judged by what size you wear. Um, but sadly, people do. Out there, there are people who will look at a person and by their size make an immediate judgment on who they are. And when it's not, you know, true. But, um, so for me, when I look at a person that goes saying, I don't see a size. Uh, I see who they are on the inside. Now, um, let's see, let's see actually, my, uh, my best friend, his name is Michael, uh, he's thin. And I personally think he's got a great body. And actually, um, he's said to tell you that he is a golden god and he has the most attractive body ever. So, you know, I told you now. <laughs> yeah, slightly embarrassed. But, you know, maybe it's true. Anyway, um... Okay, sorry about that. Um, my intention for that was to try and embarrass him, but I actually ended up getting embarrassed myself. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna finish the rest of the blog, blog thingy now. Um, the whole point of this was just to say that, to an extent, I do and do not agree, uh, with the movie that I watched. Um, I think... You can show who you are by what you wear, but what you wear is not who you are. You know, it, your clothes don't make you. You make you. And I also don't think your size is your personality. They're not. They're not even remotely connected, I think. Um, so, uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, why can I not? I need to make a list better, because I can't keep up with my own list, and that's, that's not good. Um, where was I? Okay, so anyway, so I can look at my friend Michael, and he's thin, and I think he's good looking. And then I look at myself, and you know what? I'm not thin. But I don't think I'm ugly. I don't think I'm hideous. I look at myself, and I think I'm okay. I'm fine with who I am. 
And I'm certain that there are people out there who look at me and think, oh, you know, she's pretty. And I'm also just as equally certain that there are plenty of people out there who look at me and don't feel the same way. And, you know, that's fine. You know, that's, that's their opinion. So, yeah, okay. You know, maybe I would agree, not agree. I think we as humans, you know, we all see everyone else differently. It's all from our own perspective. So, you know, what I find attractive may not be found attractive by someone else, and vice versa, you know, a lot of dotty. Um, so like I was saying, I think uh, how we present ourselves to an extent is important because it can show who we are, but it is not the only indication, and uh, I do not agree that size has anything to do with it. I think that we should all strive to be healthy, not skinny, and that uh, really, you know, everyone, me, you, everybody, we are all beautiful.